guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Now, guys, this is just a little follow-up video from uh, the wonderful um, plant gifts that we got given to us. And um, this is us obviously potting them up. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be filming the whole potting up process because I've done that many times and the video has gone on for ages because I love potting up. But I'm just showing you what they look like now. Obviously, we've got the little pots in the right sizes for them all. And these are the chlorophytums and the saxifragas. Unfortunately, this isn't the most attractive of pots, but uh, because we want to put them obviously in a flat type of tray, this is what we're going to have to use for now until we can get something a little bit nicer, probably a little bonsai dish or something. And um, we're going to be putting them up, obviously, keeping them into the this in the poly tunnel and putting it out then for the spring. And this is the obviously Euphorbia milli, and because it's got such a long tap root, well, no, it's not a tap root as such, it's got a very, very long root and like a bit of a thick sort of stem, as you can see here. Um, I'm going to sort of be potting it up from there, so give it plenty of root space. Um, we've got this pot here, Hans has drilled some holes in it, which is brilliant, it's done a great job there, look at that. So um, that means we're able to use this, this container, which is going to be perfect. And I've got a big, wide, wide and deep pot here for the lovely little fern. So um, that's great. So that's what they're all like now. We've got the pots ready and we've got the soil mix. Um, me and Hansi make our own cactus and succulent soil. And with the house plants, we just use a little bit more extra, extra loam and not so much, obviously, horticultural sand and perlite. We don't use as much on the house plants. And but with the with these succulents, we'd use a little bit more of the um, sand and the perlite. But obviously with the fern, we're gonna be using more, more of the soil without the, the grit added and the, the sand. Uh, but obviously we're gonna have a bit more of a sandy base for the, um, for the Euphorbia milli and the Saxifragas. So then guys, let's get potted up and I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're all potted up. Now guys, I always like to write the labels out um, to label all these plants. Um, not that I forget what they are, but it's always always handy to know. I always like to write where I've got them from as well and who's given, given us plants and things. Now, um, my amazing fiancé Hans, has he's actually told me the correct way to write a label, guys. I'm actually guilty. I always used to write it like that. And then, of course, it, you know, when you put the label into the pot, you're hiding the name. So Hans, he said to me, do you know what you do? You turn it round. You have the, the actual pointy arrow pointing going that way and you write the label. And that makes common sense really, but I just never thought about it. So of course, when you write the correct name, you go in and when it goes into the pot, you see the name. Now, um, I know it's common sense guys, but it's something I never thought about and I have been guilty of writing it the wrong way. Now, um, Hans has an amazing video he's wrote, he's actually done where he shows you about how to write out a label correctly. It might sound basic, but it's amazing how many people don't know and links up above to that video guys, please do check it out. And as I say, um, gonna be writing the names of what these are on here and then put them onto the pots. Now guys, I'm getting Hansi to pot up the lovely little fern. And the reason being, Hansi's a lot more knowledgeable on these plants than I am. And he's actually noticed in the roots here, there's some little tiny babies growing along. So um, yeah, I remember my mother, she had a lot of these. And, and I was always there and yeah. Wow. And I, and I saw small shootings coming. Adorable. And I, and I take them and uh, have my own plants. And she wanted, my mother wanted, where, where do you got them? From yours. Ha ha ha. I love this, yeah. Oh, isn't I it really gorgeous? Yeah. So that's great. So we've got little babies on as well. So I'm leaving Hansi to pop this up because um, he's more knowledgeable. And guys, if you're not familiar, please do check out Hansi's amazing channel here on YouTube. It links up above. It's Family of Cactusy and Other Beauties. And Hans has some amazing cacti and succulent videos and other gardening videos on there as well where he shares lots of tips. So um, And lots more coming soon. So please go over and subscribe. So here we go, guys. Mm, I wonder if you shall take those. No, we let it go in. <laughs> but uh, we put it so they come into the surface. Adorable. I think, yeah, so they can shoot in the right way, you see? There yeah. You have, there you have the plant and there is one plant. You see? Oh, oh that's great. Mm. So now we can feel up here. And it's <laughs> going to be plants, so then it's just to cut them and put them in in their own oh wonderful own pots you know oh, 
<laughs> That's adorable, isn't it? Mm. Oh, Hans is great at potting them. That's wonderful. So I'm, I'm more familiar with sort of the cacti, stuff, but Hans is great with other types of plants. <laughs> As you can see, this is lovely. Mm. Oh, I love this. So kind of that person to sample. I know, it's really, really lovely. So it's great. It's always good having free plants through the post. It's mm -hmm. an added bonus. It, it's always extra yeah. special when they're, they're gifted to us as well from, from other people's mm -hmm. collections. It's mm -hmm. exciting. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And uh, guys, if you haven't seen the original video when, when we received these gifts, lift, um, sorry, links up above to that video mm -hmm. and um, you can see us uh, there with the new planties. Mm -hmm. And this is us potting them up. And, oh, uh, that looks those gorgeous. needs, uh, yeah, they humidity, hum, humidity, humidity. Yeah, <laughs> so they don't have plenty of that in not, Ireland. Uh, dry out, <laughs> uh, and they even like uh, fertilizer. So great. And it's gonna shoot here. It's uh, new, and it, oh, it can be gorgeous. wide as that, and one and a half wow. meter. Wow! Wow! Real big plants. Wow! Love them. Ah. Nephrolepis cordifolia. Cordifolia. Yee <laughs> Well done, Hansi. <laughs> and uh, and by the, the way, it's not a begonia. We're using the old pot. <laughs> it's here not is. a begonia, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, and we've got the label on there. there. So, yeah. Nephrolepis cordifolia. And we, there you see the yay. proper name. And you see yep. what it is. The proper label. <laughs> so, and uh, we've got another time. one upstairs in our bedroom, um, yeah. a Nephilipsis exhalata. This is rain yeah, water. Rain water. Because yeah. we use rain water on all our plants. So um, it's always so, better than tap water, guys. That's cool. That's <laughs> great. What a beauty. <laughs> what a beauty. So that's the first one potted happy, up. Happy us, happy us. Happy us uh, indeed. Here's what's happening. So. so. Now we're potting up the chlorophytums and the first one we've got here is the all green one and as it's got a fantastic root system already it's going to gently place that in there and then we're we'll putting the, the two little ones here obviously we're filling that up with a bit more soil as, uh, as here And obviously I'm not going to be filming the whole thing because I don't want to bore you. I'll just show you the first one here that we're potting up um, the soil all around it. So this has got a good good little root system on it already. It's lovely the, the green one. It's unusual to get the all green chlorophytum with no sort of stripes at all. And then um, that little one, just press that gently down. As I say, they, they root very easy. <laughs> the tiny little... Tiny little, tiny little root on that one there. So that's that. And then um, fill it in with a little bit more, little bit more soil around it. Like so. And tucking it in. And that one done. And again, chlorophytum all green, because I'm not quite sure what the proper name is, but chlorophytum all green. And that's that one done there. Now Hans is going to pot on the Euphorbia milli. This is the one that's got a very long, almost like a type of tap root. It's not, but it, but it is like a very big, thick sort of stem there with a long root. That's great. So um, mm. Hans has got a big, big, long, deep pot there. Big to hands. um <laughs> And big hands as well. <laughs> and uh, potting that up. So that's going to be uh, lovely to see. Oh, wonderful. It's a very ugly, but... Uh... <laughs> Good function over the winter now. Does I the job. Made holes here. So. Yeah, Hans has yeah. drilled some and holes. It's gonna, it? uh, of course, stand dry now. Yeah, we're not going to be yeah. watering um, our cacti or succulents. As you know, mm. Euphorbia milli is a mm. succulent plant, so that's going to yes. be kept dry now until the springtime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Something really therapeutic about repotting is just the most amazing thing. <laughs> mm. Even love the smell of the earth. It's just like oh, the, I love oh, it. the smell of the earth makes me feel so happy. Smell of earth and patchouli. Oh, earth and patchouli. <laughs> <laughs> me and Hans love our patchouli essential, essential oil. <laughs> we wear it every day. <laughs> Typical hippies, us. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that looks lovely. Look at that. Mm. Ah, well done, Hansi. That's mm. wonderful. It's almost 
like it's funny that you have Forby and Milai. He's so like our Ocotillos that uh, we got from Keith Groovy Man 1968 on YouTube. They're very similar, even with the little leaves and the the. Well, not the flowers. Though. But but not the flowers. The flowers are different. Mm. But they're so um, so like the Ocotillo mm. almost. I mean, not normally, but just the way that plant looks there. Well, that's lovely. So, um, so that's no, nice. It helps to dry out. Yep. So, so that's uh, that's going to be kept in the plant room. But -da. ah, there's the label. <laughs> you formed me like small flowered variety. <laughs> so that's that one potted up. Now potting on the chlorophytum, the ones with the little yellow stripes going all around the edges. As you know, the more common chlorophytum is the one with the white stripe going through the middle. But this one is the green stripe with the lovely yellow stripes. And as I say, we have this one, which is the green stripe with the white stripes. So again, it's so easy, really. I mean, spider plants, they've already got little roots on them anyway. But um, they root so easy. Just a case of literally pushing them down into the soil like so. They really are. They root. They're so easy to propagate as well. These are little, obviously little plantlets. Um, just say so gently push on there, cover it in, and then they'll send out roots over time, and then they'll have babies of their own. Ha ha ha! So look at that, isn't that cute? It's good to have a few different varieties. As I say, these will be going in the polytunnel with our other poly uh, chlorophytums, but while they're still young, get them established, we'll keep them in the plant room with the, the grow lights and that. So that's it, chlorophytum yellow stripes. So that's them two done. And then the last one of the chlorophytums. Again, this is the one with the, the white stripes. And again, little tiny roots on it. So easy like that. So just press it down. What a cutie, isn't it? <laughs> And these spider plants are the most easiest plants to grow, guys. And links up above to a video that um, I made on how to um, how to care for chlorophytum, the spider plant. Um, in case you're not familiar, it's a very easy, easy plant. But links up above to that video. Do ch do check it out, guys. And also links up above to a video Hans made. Um, Probably about a good few months ago now, before he moved to Ireland, <laughs> when he was still living in Sweden, and how he actually managed to propagate the actual, the the, the root part of the um, chlorophytums, you know, these are the leaves, and they'll, they'll just root even from the root part. It was quite remarkable. How, um, wasn't it, my love? Yeah, it's a kind of, yeah, a kind of uh, resormer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a kind of sleeping root pot. Yeah. yeah. And they all grow back, so they really do root really easy. So they're getting chlorophytum, white stripes on there. So, ah, oh, that's all them little Lovely beauties bells. done. And they're gorgeous, aren't they? And now, last but not least, is the Saxifraga. Now, there's a few different varieties that um, mm. the guy sent us, but um, I've just put Saxifraga varieties. <laughs> And um, as I say, this is not the most attractive of dishes. I think it's one of them older, like a little tomato, um, but the fruit come in. But this will do now just to um, pop them up into something. And then we can always get a nice little bonsai dish or something later on in the spring. Now, again, it's the Saxifragas. And I've put the soil, I've used a cactus and succulent mix here with extra perlite and added sand. Now, these have already got little roots already. So it's just a case of gently placing them in on the top of the, the surface and they're tucking them in. As, as I say, these are rockery type of plants so they don't need to be um, in a deep a deep pot or anything. They're shallow growers and they sort of grow spread over over time as well. Uh, so it's got a nice big root on it there, that one. So that one can go in the middle there. They're lovely, aren't they? They're almost like flowers. They remind me a little bit of aeniums. <laughs> and this here's already a nice little bunch. All they have little roots it already so that can go I can go here press it down and as I say they're outdoor succulents but I'm going to be keeping these in our polytunnel because uh, we've had a lot of rain lately and although outdoor succulents they can be grown in rockeries and things they do need to be in a well draining spot there's a difference between a bit of rain and non-stop rain which is what we've been having lately so maybe the other ones other outdoor succulents into the polytunnel as well just to keep them a little bit drier but um, oh, they're lovely, aren't they? And uh, <laughs> that there, a little tiny one as well. Adorable. And there's that. It's 
make sure that's up like that. And there, as I tuck them in. And as I say, I'm going to be keeping these fairly dry now because the soil is a little bit damp anyway. And they'll be overwintering in the polytunnel. If they show signs of shriveling, I'll give them a bit of spray with rainwater. But that's more or less it. And uh, there you go. So that's all the beauties. We've took the little fern up into the bedroom with the other one. <laughs> so that's all up there. And that's them all potted up, guys. So guys, me and Hans want to send you loads of love, Heaps. heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant yeah. power. power. As always from Bye. Ireland. Until the next video, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>